At the beginning of the semester, I went on a tour to learn about the secret places of Rose House. The adventure began as we went to Noise Community Center. Even though I had been here several times before to get food late at night, I was unaware of some of the things offered at Noise. There are several fitness facilities available, including a gym where people were playing basketball, a fitness center with exercise equipment, and a studio that is often reserved by clubs. I also learned that Noise has a free event every week in the evening. Next, we walked to Lion Hall. Once inside, we got a chance to see what is behind the locked doors in the lobby. Even though I've walked past those doors every day, I didn't know what was there. The secret room was the World War I Memorial. Inside, there was a painting and a speech signed by President Hoover. There was nice furniture and flags in the room as well. Unfortunately, the room was somewhat dark, so my video of it isn't great. Professor Blaylock told us about the history of Cornell and how it relates to the memorial. Ezra Cornell made a machine to help lay telegraph wires and made a lot of money from that. To give back, he and Andrew Dixon White decide to make a university. Since Cornell is a land grant university, one of the requirements is that it teaches military science. The memorial was built to honor those who died in service of our country. Currently, the ROTC at Cornell takes care of the war memorial. On our way out of Lion Hall, we learned a little about the room on top of the tower. This is where the secret society, Cool and Dagger, meet. There is a locked door on the outside that supposedly leads to a small elevator which can bring people up to the room at the top. There is also a door on the fifth floor that leads to the secret meeting place as well. No one who can potentially become a member is allowed in the room, so if you want to see it, you need to wait until second semester senior year when it's too late for them to let you in, find someone in it, and ask them to take you. Next, we walked over to Becker, Maine. We went down to the basement and into the tunnels. We saw places where food was stored, an office, and the loading dock. Then we walked to a tunnel that connected Becker and Rose Houses. This tunnel exists because Rose House doesn't have a loading dock, so it gets its food through Becker's. The tunnel had very smooth floors and sounds echoed a lot. Professor Blaylock told us that he could hear everything said from his apartment above, so if you ever go exploring in the tunnels, make sure not to tell any secrets. We then went in an elevator that led from the tunnels up to Rose House Kitchen. I had never really given much thought about how food gets into the dining hall, and getting to go into these tunnels showed me a part of West Campus that I had never been to before and I had never known much about. After the tour was over, Professor Blaylock invited us into his apartment to have cheese. Everyone who was there had a chance to hear about some of the events that were planned for the semester and discuss things that they wanted to do. Overall, I liked going on this tour and learning about the secret places on West that I wouldn't have known about otherwise.